everyone, I'm Dr. Katie Snow, and today we are going to be making turmeric dill tuna salad. And before we get going, I just want to mention to everyone, um, if you're enjoying these recipes and uh, or enjoying sharing them with family and friends, make sure that you like and subscribe to our channel. Like this video and subscribe to our channel, and also share this video and other videos that you're enjoying with your family and friends. And there's an alert button below if you want to make sure you're notified of upcoming videos, recipe videos, and other videos that we're making, make sure that you hit that alert button. So let's go ahead and get started with our turmeric dill tuna salad. This is a very simple recipe. Um, I'm always a fan of making simple recipes that have tremendous health benefits and the importance of ingredients. So I want to start off by talking about the main ingredient in this, and that's the tuna. And I'm sure we've all grown up on Starkist and had tuna salad, um, probably more than you cared to have, but the ingredients make such a big difference. So don't click off this video because your mom made you Starkist tuna salad when you were younger and you were just sick of it. Um, this is a refreshing, better tasting tuna salad because we are using better ingredients. So this is a canned tuna that I picked up at Costco. And I want to make note when you're shopping in the grocery store how important it is to look at ingredients. So this was actually the only tuna that I saw in the store and also the other grocery store that I shop in. And if you look at the ingredients, if you can focus in on them. So it's just tuna, the yellowfin tuna, and sea salt. And so that's what your tuna should have in it. It shouldn't have natural flavors and preservatives because guess what? You're getting that in your system and you shouldn't be. So another important thing is this one is um, every tuna is mercury tested. So we want to make sure that we are using a source of tuna that is being sustainably caught and harvested because typically those are cleaner fish. They're caught in the right waters um, and they are the right size. So they're not getting these gigantic tuna um, because they typically have more mercury in them. And so again, it's so important um, to base ingredients, always reading the ingredient list in the grocery store so we know what we're putting in our bodies and in our family's bodies. So um, first and main ingredient. And tuna has a great source of omega-3s. And so getting a clean source and eating this as often as you can is actually great because we're getting those good omega-3s and less of the omega-6 that we get when we're eating processed foods or foods that have been cooked. So this is actually a recipe that we're preparing just from the can. It was, um, it was slightly cooked, um, but uh, everything else is raw ingredients in this recipe. So the second um, item in the recipe, we use veginase. Um, so this is one of my favorites because again, the ingredients are very clean and it's a soy free uh, mayonnaise. A lot of mayonnaises are made with soybean oil. So this is made with an expeller pressed safflower oil. So super important, again, read those ingredients. When you're in the store, it just takes seconds to look and see what the ingredients are and make sure that you're buying something that you're using often like mayonnaise, um, that you're not putting toxic oils in your body. Another good one, um, Primal Kitchen makes an avocado mayonnaise that is shelf stable. So this one's in the refrigerator section. But if you look at Primal Kitchen's avocado oil mayonnaise, it's really good, tastes really good, and good ingredients. Third ingredient is a stone ground mustard. This one's organic, I picked up. The next one is lemon juice. I went ahead and pre-squeezed it, but it's an organic lemon. Um, pink sea salt, we want to make sure our sea, sea salt has color, so pink is Himalayan, Celtic is gray, but not white, so we want to make sure it's a color. And a good company, because there are some that are actually dyeing their sea salts, so we want to make sure um, Celtic is a good brand. Um, this is one that we sell, Premier Research Labs, Premier Pink Salt. And then the seasonings, we have organic garlic powder. And then we have organic cayenne and then organic black pepper and last but not least turmeric power so this is our turmeric product that we uh, came out with it is a mixture of ginger and turmeric 
It is organic and it is fermented. So this is a fabulous addition. I've been putting in it in almost everything that I'm cooking because I'm trying to get more and more turmeric in my diet and I'm enjoying the benefits of getting more turmeric in my diet. So I'm definitely noticing. And so anything that I can stick this into, um, my family's been seeing everything yellow, but I'm loving it. They're not minding it. They're liking it too, um, but it's very easy. So I actually don't keep this in my supplement cabinet. It is in my spice cabinet. And then we have the vegetables. So for this recipe, it's one carrot stick, two short celery sticks or one long celery stick. These are organic as well. And then onion. So I got this uh, big bag of organic onions from Costco. Again, you can find them at your local grocery store. And then I picked this as a deal from my herb garden. And if you're interested in growing your own herbs, check out the gardening video that I did um, on a simple raised bed garden. It's very easy to do. It's very easy to grow um, most herbs and you'll enjoy that video, so check it out. So we'll go ahead and get started. So we're gonna start with the vegetables. So I'm just gonna um, show you, I have my S-Blade in the bottom of my food processor. And you don't have to use a food processor for this recipe, it's just a lot more chopping if you don't mind chopping. Um, but this will probably save more than half the time by just making big chunks and dropping them into the food processor. And then same thing with the celery, just big chunks. It's gonna do the chopping, but we don't wanna put the whole item in there. And then, so we got celery and carrots, and then we're gonna do our onion, about half of the onion. And then we're gonna just chip up the dill. And I leave the stems on. There's a lot of nutrition in there. I'm growing it organic, so I want to make sure I get everything. I actually save the stems um, on a lot of things, even broccoli I recycle, kale, because there's nutrition in there, so why throw it away? Okay, so we're just going to pulse the vegetables in the dill. mixture of the vegetables but it's not all the way into uh, a puree it's we kind of just chop it and then the next thing we're going to do is add two cans these are five ounce cans of the ahi tuna when I make sure I pour the, the liquid out okay one more can We'll go ahead and pulse that. I'm just going to clean the sides up a little bit so that as I mix the next ingredients, everything's blended nice. ingredient the veginase it's five tablespoons one two three four okay I use a lot of veginase so I probably have five jars in my refrigerator so when you're doing a keto diet there's a lot of fats included and so while I'm not keto all the time a lot of the time that I am I'm using a lot of fats and so I want to make sure that I'm getting good quality fats it's not quantity it's quality in your fats with a keto diet um, with the stone grown mustard it's one teaspoon and you'll see that's normal in stone grown mustard to see the mustard seed and actually I like it, so I'm gonna I'm gonna double it. 
I'm going to do two. Recipes one. And then we have one tablespoon of lemon juice. And then the sea salt is actually um, one teaspoon. I'm just going to use my hand to measure. Do this enough times, you kind of have your, your reference measurements. And then next is the garlic powder. One teaspoon on that. And then the cayenne. I'm not going to put that in my hand, but it's a half of a teaspoon. And you can do more. Some people like a little bit more heat if you're doing a spicy tuna salad, which you can totally make this a spicy tuna salad. I would go ahead and do one teaspoon on the cayenne. And the black pepper, same thing. You could do a half, you could do one, depends on how, how much pepper, how much spice that you like. And then last but not least, the turmeric powder. And we're gonna do one scoop. So that all these come with a scoop in them. And so one level scoop. Okay. And that's really about it. I'm gonna push the sides down one time, but you want it to be chunky. And, and again, that's a preference. If you want it more minced up, you could let it puree for a good minute. But if you want like a more of a traditional tuna salad, you still want a little crunch and the pieces to be in there. So I just do it very little is the way I do it. Okay. It's a beautiful color. Um, I really smell the dill and the turmeric in there and um, it looks delicious. So what we're going to do, this is a butter crunch lettuce that I grew in my garden, but you can get this at the grocery store. Um, it usually comes as a head of lettuce and we're going to make these little cups. This works really good if you want to serve this as a part of the dinner item and then it makes a really good storage in a container um, that you can bring with you uh, for lunch the next day to work. So go ahead and take two of the lettuce and then I would say just have a tablespoon and scoop, it's probably about two tablespoons that we're scooping on there. Smells delicious. But most kids will enjoy this recipe. And again, you can you can use different vegetables. We use the celery, the onion, and the carrot. But if your kids don't like onions, just take the onions out. Um, you know, maybe they don't, that's not a preference for them. But um, it's a very simple recipe. You're getting the turmeric, which is a, an anti-inflammatory spice. So again, we're getting that into our diet as much as we can. Um, all the rest of the ingredients, just really good quality. So having something like this, this is keto friendly, this is paleo friendly, and it's delicious. So I'm gonna go sit down and enjoy these. So again, if you're liking these recipes, make sure you subscribe and um, we'll keep making more of these videos. So here's to transforming your health naturally. I'm Dr. Katie Snow, see you next time.